My name is Hassan Romaiti. I'm 26 years old. I live in Abu Dhabi. I'm from United Arab Emirates. And my fighting style is mostly is judo and jiu-jitsu. And I train at the ADCC, Abu Dhabi Combat Club. Honestly, I feel like really proud, honored. At the same time, a little bit like nervous because you know, like all the eyes on me, expect me to win, and I want to make the this sport grow up and more local to fight in this game, MMA. People can come to me and ask my name and how was your fight. Some of them, yeah, like you. Is that you, Aromethi? That's you. We saw you on the ADFC or the TV. Really helped me a lot. Like gave me this chance to fight. But round one, it's my first professional fight in the cage and with the people, with everything. So I fought like we were standing and took him down and tried to submit him. Again, we stand up and then take him down and start to punch him until the referee stopped. So take it all. Well, really, I felt happy. I won my country, in my city, in front of my people, my family. That's an honor, that's a great feeling. And I hope that's gonna happen again in round two and round three and forever. I really like George St. Pierre. He's like almost complete in the martial arts. In general, I have two. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al-Nahyan and my real, like, the great person who take care of me and my brother, His Highness Sheikh Tahnun bin Zayed Al-Nahyan. I eat almost everything. I just eat normal. Whatever I want, I just eat. Six meals, five meals a day. And the sleeping, I do my best to sleep more than six, seven hours. If it's less, I don't feel good for the second day to train. Go to the cinema with my brothers, my teammates, hang out with them, sometimes play football with them at the beach, swim. That's normal routine. Now it's almost the same, like I'm training some striking, jiu-jitsu and wrestling. I'm training more striking because I don't have background in striking, but, so, but still doing wrestling and jiu-jitsu. Until I make sure the guy I'm fighting what style he's doing and you know what I mean like you have to study the guy and then start to prepare for him inshallah I win like to me it doesn't matter how to win most important you win but really honestly I'm trying to avoid winning by you know the the last minute like you know the referee choose who's winning I don't want this feeling it's really scary so inshallah I can win by knockout submission TKO I don't want to wait for the decision in the end and makes me more nervous just finish the game from the first round second Hopefully, inshallah, in the first round. It doesn't matter the local from where, everywhere in the, city, in the country, but the most important, we want more local to fight, to build the sport more. It's not easy like, to change their mind, but hopefully it will come. Really, I want to tell them that it's a good sport. It's tough, though, but it's a good sport. It teach you how to be disciplined, how to control, to be, how to use your brain more, how to be smart. Come and try it. We have many gyms now doing the MMA. I want to give this message to the UAE youth and to tell them to be healthy as much as they can. To train, to sleep well, to eat well, to try to avoid the bad things for themselves, for the health, so they can be good in everything. You know, it's more easy when you're healthier than you're not healthy. You don't have problems with your health. That's a good feeling, really. It's a good feeling.